Happy Tuesday afternoon, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. We continue to monitor the threat for some strong to severe storms later on this evening and tonight. That severe weather threat should wrap up by 3 or 4 o'clock Wednesday morning. Overall, wind is primarily the concern here. Damaging wind gusts can't rule out an isolated tornado, but we're going to keep that threat in the low end of the spectrum along with hail and flooding. But there could be some power outages out there with some gusty wind even outside of some of those storms. Now, temperatures will be mild through the evening hours, widespread 60s all evening long. By 10 o'clock or so, the strongest storms probably just off to our northwest. As we go throughout the uh, overnight hours, notice how this line of storms will move across our region. That would be the line of storms that could produce those gusty winds. And then the front will actually move through sometime after 3 o'clock in the morning, and temperatures will rapidly fall. And we may wake up to temperatures in the 50s, maybe even a few 40s too in some spots on our Wednesday morning. A chance for some embedded lightning with the activity as we go throughout the overnight hours, in addition to a quick a quarter of an inch to maybe one to one and a half inches of moisture with this system. Now, as we get into the holiday weekend, things are actually looking pretty good. Wednesday, the big travel day, no major concerns around here. Thursday, Thanksgiving, mostly cloudy, but quiet. Variably cloudy, 64 on Friday, 71. Saturday with a chance for some strong afternoon and evening storms. That system goes away on Sunday and early next week looks to be pretty sunny, just a bit on the cool side.